Hi guys, welcome back to Random Doctor Talks, where we talk about all things medicine and all things life. I know you can see, you can see something here, eh? <laughs> Someone here. Let me just let her introduce her. So, so I know you know no, me. No, they, they know me. They know me as well. <laughs> Dr. Nenda is back. Hi, guys. <laughs> she was on leave. <laughs> For those who are asking. <laughs> and since she was on leave, this video we are going to be um, refreshing her medical knowledge. Let's see if Bada is going to be embarrassed. I can't embarrass you. Aki, please. The ball is in your court. <laughs> Hiya, trende, hiya. But it's light. Even you can answer. Wherever you are, answer. Um. And then you can gauge us as the doctors. <laughs> Where? Hey. Hiya. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so, Let's go. so the first question is, it's basic medical okay. knowledge. So, <laughs> okay. What condition is caused by the deposition of salts of uric acid? Oh, Nick, what are you chasing? Gout. 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 <laughs> Yes. Okay. Ah, yeah. After After start. Start. Hey. Let me read for them. So excess amounts of uric acid in your body can lead to deposits of crystals in your joints, leading to inflammation and pain. The condition is known as gout. There you go. Ah, yeah. You, yeah, you started okay. well. Okay. Number two. What is the largest organ in the body? The Let skin. Me... Hey. 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 <laughs> well, well, many believe that organs. Uh, well, many believe that organs are only internal. The skin is actually the human's largest organ. So here you're coming also to learn, isn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all learning. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Number three. <laughs> hypertension is another name for what? Let me give you the traces. Okay. Blood in urine. Okay. High blood sugar. High blood pressure. High cholesterol. Oh, high blood pressure. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you can just be reading the first one. High blood sugar. Bas yeah, B. yeah. <laughs> so I know you know what hypertension is. We'll give you like a definition. But it's actually not that obvious to even people who mm -hmm. are suffering from hypertension sometimes yeah. they don't know that it's called hypertension oh. when I do pressure may see that's a fault on our end that's because true. we're supposed to explain to them everything in terms of but their it's diagnosis. kind of like a me it's a medical terminology yeah, yeah so most people probably just say you have high blood, high blood pressure, pressure. Mm. okay, okay. Yeah. but as we go we go even further so we'll tell you both. will they remember will they remember Imagine, hypertension well you try, you try, you try your best. You try your best. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, hypertension is the medical term for high blood pressure. And there are four levels. There's normal, there's pre-hypertension, there's stage one, and stage two hypertension. I'll try and yeah, that is a lot. But hey, you just need to know that. Yeah. Cindy? Okay. Next question. Which of the following is an acronym that measures the amount of body fat based on height and weight? Ah, BMI. Good. <laughs> Do you want to tell us in full? Body mass index. Hey, have I been saying the wrong thing in my what head? What have you been saying? Basal. Body. <laughs> Amma? Wait, it's body. It's body. <laughs> you know, you can accept a basal mass index. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, BMI. Okay, okay. Ah, you're doing well. I'm yeah, doing, come the leaves. I'm the leaves doing great. Leave, eh? <laughs> I am. What does the P in CPR stand for? CPR. Uh, there's pulmonary, there's post, posterior, or plasma. Pulmonary. Oh. Cardiopulmonary Kick. resuscitation. Thank you. The one where you can literally break your hands. Hey. It is a lot of work. It's a lot. Yeah. It's so much. And people actually get shocked when you mention that you can actually break the ribs. Yeah. Yeah, because you actually have to use a actually, lot of force. Actually, good quality CPR you should break, should the, break yeah, a rib yeah, or two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I remember seeing my colleague doing it, and I was just, I had the... You had it? Yeah. But no, but you have to use that force. A, 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 A. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Next question. Hepatitis affects which organ? The liver. Mm. The good old liver. Do you, Dr. Rivelu? <laughs> Aye. Huh? Yes. So hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver, and there are various types. There's hepatitis A, B, and C. Fun fact. Hepatitis A is a foodborne illness. It is. Yeah. It's yes. not sexually transmitted. Yes. Yeah. So now you know. And even children, actually, mostly children get yeah. hepatitis A. Mm. And, but do you remember mm. in school, in med school, mm. where we used to buy food commonly? Mm -hmm. The people who used to sell the food to us, eh. they had yellow eyes. Ah, please, no. No, Ima this, this, yes, no. yes. I may never saw. Yes, there was an outbreak of hepatitis A. And you were just buying food. When? Aki, when, when. when you I don't want to mention the name, but I know but you know what I'm year? talking about. It was apple, third year, second year. Huh. Yes. I don't remember anything yes. like that. 
<gasps> and it was proper jaundice, uh, 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 like uh, uh, yellow uh, uh, eyes. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And they were still working and exposing us. We are alive. <laughs> of importance. <laughs> then the next question. We almost, we almost done it. Eh? Okay. Aya, what is removed during a hysterectomy? I feel like asking the men here. So our camera videographers are men. I feel like asking Have them. Have you seen that face? <laughs> <laughs> it's you guys, like you, you just asked try, him to. I feel like asking. <laughs> okay. So what is removed during a hysterectomy? I'll give you choices. Yeah. So there's A, kidney, B, tonsils, C, gallbladder, and D, uterus. No. Moment of silence. No, one more time, Chas. Yeah. <laughs> A kidney. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Oh, the question. Yeah, okay, the question. And okay. The choices. What is removed during a hysterectomy? Yeah. A hysterectomy is a surgical procedure where there's an organ that's removed. Sure. Ah, yeah, so which organ? Mm. A kidney. Maybe. B tonsils. No. C gallbladder. No. D uterus. Mm. I'll go with kidney. You'll go with kidney. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just off your head, like don't have a thing. Kidney. Could be uterus, could be uterus, could be uterus. You go with uterus. You go with uterus. Okay. Okay. So we have two choices here. One has said kidney, one has said uterus. Dr. Sangendo, you want to give us the answer? God, you're right. Oh, yeah. It's the uterus. <laughs> <laughs> but A for effort. You try it, you try it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will have a question. Like uh, yeah. the uterus is literally removed from yes. the body. Yes. Yes. Like out you, you go. Yeah. So yeah. let, let, me, let me read it for you. So a hysterectomy is a surgical procedure in which a woman's uterus is removed from her body. So from like the age of around 40, very mean people suffer from something called fibroids. And oh, yeah, uh, one yeah. of the 100% solutions to fibroids is either removing, removing the uterus, yeah. which is a hysterectomy. After once you've achieved your... Uh, family size. Yeah. yeah so you've gotten <laughs> the number of children you want to have. Yeah. So it's on menopause, yeah? It's sort of a thing. Act, no. Pre, pre, -menopause, pre menopause, but post, um, you know, childbearing yeah, age. Yeah. 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 After, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they don't remove the ovaries. They don't have to. They don't have to. Yeah. So if they don't remove the ovaries, you won't per se go into menopause. Mm -hmm. But once they remove the ovaries, then you can go into premature menopause. Like it happens before it was naturally supposed to happen. Okay, this is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> there are other reasons why the uterus can be removed also. Uh, so okay. like post-delivery, excessive bleeding, that you've tried everything, everything, everything. This is now the last resort. The uterus must go. Or like cancers, yeah. such things. Hey, bro, I'm I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is how we may hey, feel. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> feel it. <laughs> So at least you see, <laughs> when you come here, you learn something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But then, and on uh -huh. that note, I was yeah. going to say, so the medical terms, I mm -hmm. feel like to us, they're very, they're very obvious. Yeah. But to patients, they're not. That's so, true. but like there's this one patient who came and told me how I had a, I had a momectomy. I'm like, huh? What is, wait, let me try and guess. <laughs> Mo Myomectomy? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, just say what procedure was yeah. done. Just don't don't try to use the medical terms. Yeah. Just just tell me what happened, what happened and why. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, someone has given us funny eyes. Now, a myomectomy or momectomy, <laughs> <laughs> when you have fibroids, they can remove the fibroids, like the gross the cells. cells, as opposed to re removing the entire uterus. So mm -hmm. that would be a myomectomy. Yeah. If that doesn't work, then a hysterectomy is the, the next option. Squirming. <laughs> this is too much information to gather. It's, it's just enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have like three more questions. Okay. Okay. So, um, who is considered the universal blood donor? O negative. Wow. Yes, wow. yes, yes. I always get that confused. I know it's yeah. O, but I'm just like positive, negative, positive, no, negative. negative. O negative. negative. Um, let me give you another one. What about universal receiver? I think it must be A, B positive. Yeah. 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 AV. So guys, it's good to know your blood group. Very important. Yeah. If you don't know, please take some time to just go to have your blood tested to, to know your blood group because mm -hmm. you never know when you'll need blood urgently. Mm -hmm. And this day is, by the way, fun mm. fact, the smart driving license mm. has your blood group. Like mine has my blood ah, group. Yeah. You have a smart driving license. See, it's called a smart DL, Ama. The card, the card. I don't have one yet. Ah, do, do you guys get have... to the times? 
You need to get with the times, please. Where have I been? You're still carrying a booklet. <laughs> <laughs> a, a booklet with the cover. The red cover. <laughs> Mine is upside down. <laughs> Get with the times, huh? Yeah, next, next okay. thing I'll do. Sour, sour. On your list? Mm. Sour, sour. Um, then, which organ is considered the heaviest organ in the body? Wow, heaviest. Mm. <sighs> is it the liver? Lungs? Okay, give me a second. Organ? Yes. It's, I give you a... Oh, a the clue. brain. No, it's the no. largest. Heaviest or largest? Heaviest. Heavy. It's the largest organ. Oh, the skin? Yes. How? I didn't know that, but yeah, it's the skin. How? I don't know. I don't think science, so. I disagree. Science. Yeah, I disagree. Well, rather, that's the answer they've given here. <laughs> Me, I actually thought it was the liver. All, yeah, if you remove all your skin and wait next to the liver. It might actually be heavier. Hey. Yeah, it might, yeah. But I think they're considering, remember the skin has different layers. I think they're also considering like the adipose oh, because it's still considered part of the hey. skin. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how many organ systems are there in the body? Hey, there are so many. What do you mean? I will name them. This is like now parting shot. Ay, hey, <laughs> organ systems. Systems. Can you name, name at least five? Uh uh. Okay, at least three. <laughs> what? Okay, give me one example. As a woman. As a woman. Reproduct. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Reproduct. It's an organ system. All right. Yes. Reproductive, digestive. Yes. Um, musculoskeletal. Yes. Ooh. Okay. You, see, you okay. know. Two more. Um, two more. Ooh. We. Um. <laughs> respiratory. <Yes. laughs> you. You're those, you're those lecturers who. Yeah, I will literally that. help you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a push here and there, you know. Oh, yeah. Um. One more. One more. Mm. Let me see the essence of your being. Like, how are you functioning? Not CNS. Okay, that's one. But mm. another one? That's that's an organ system. I don't know. I don't feel like circulatory. Oh, circulatory. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So actually, there are eleven systems. Ah. Organ. There are eleven organ systems in the body. Yeah. I'm, I'm still looking. Me? I'm looking for the other six. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm looking for the other six, but there are eleven. Okay. Oh, integum so, uh, integumentary, integumentary system. The okay. one that was skin, Cynthia. Nails, nails hair. and hair and skin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Mm. Aya, then the last one. Mm -hmm. What is the only part of the body that cannot heal itself? Let me give you choices for this one. Unless you want to guess. Mm, I feel like I know, but just give me just okay, give me the so choices. Far. There is A teeth, uh, B your hair, uh, C the cornea, and then the last one is your hearing. Can never heal itself. Mm. Like ikiaribika imiaribika, unless it's like replaced. The cornea. No? Hearing. Yeah. What were the other choices? <laughs> Hair and teeth. Teeth. Yes. Aye. That's weird. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I tell you, teeth are the only part of the body that can't heal itself. A broken tooth stays broken forever. Oh, you mean, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, in that, I mean, in that sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got you. But if, if if we are wrong, please, the dentist yeah. and, and, and ENTs and everyone else, Refer you can connect dental. us. <laughs> There's I nothing am. I enjoy more than <laughs> dental clinic. Refer. 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 Manage dental. pain and refer. Yeah. Yeah, Kusha. by the way. Because to be honest, I will not really help you there. That's just true. being honest. Yeah, that's just true. being honest. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one, Inya Kunga. And just because okay. we talked about this today. Okay. Uh, what is... Boborigmi. Oh, Let me give you choices. <laughs> Boborigmi. <laughs> ah, yeah. A, it's an itch. B, it's a cough. C, it's a sneeze. And then E, ah, at e, D, the stomach crumbling noise. I feel like I'm being targeted. <laughs> I feel strongly in my heart that I'm being targeted, but it's fine. Uh -huh. It's the rumbling of the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, now you know. You know that But don't mm -hmm. come saying at you now, Dr. I have boborigmi. It's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, most most times it's not a problem. Yeah. But like if it's persistent, then mm. maybe you can get some medical mm. help. But yeah. So that was just welcoming back our <laughs> Dr. <Dactari> over here. <laughs> as you know, just leave Wisha. <laughs> Excuse me. And yeah, we hope you'll be here for the next ones. Yes. I know you will. And guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've answered the questions with us. At least ours. We'll call them studio audience. Yeah. <laughs>
have <coughs> learned something. Not something. They've learned a, a lot. few things yeah, mm. today. And I hope you've learned as well. So feel free to share, to like, to comment, to subscribe. Kuna gani ingine? Iyo subscribe sana sana. The subscribe one. Yeah. 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 And tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah. Bye. Bye.